Have you ever heard of a death ray? Well, the Mythbusters have. First up, a myth from the mists of antiquity. This time we have what I believe is the oldest myth that Mythbusters has tested. It comes from the third century BC, right from the mind of the famous scientist Archimedes. And the idea is that Archimedes apparently utilized the sun's energy and mirrors to set fire to enemy ships during the Punic Wars. The Mythbusters tackled it unsuccessfully, but as our next guest found out, just because the Mythbusters can't do it doesn't mean it can't be done. Dr. David Wallace is an engineering prof at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He joins me now from Cambridge, Massachusetts. So Dr. Wallace, what did you do? Well, we thought it was a uh, fun problem and a quick back of the envelope calculation said that it should be at least something uh, possible to do. So what we did was we bought a number, about 130 square one foot mirror tiles, made a, a replica or facsimile of something roughly in the shape of a Roman ship, in this case made out of red oak, where they really probably would have used cedar, but red oak's probably a little harder to burn too. And then we set up the ship and we used a series of uh, sticks as props to aim the mirrors all at the same spot on the ship, roughly 100 feet away, and then uh, waited to see what happened. Now, um, so th the story is that Archimedes had his troops on the shore actually manipulate whether they were shields or mirrors or whatever, and, and they actually were able to focus the sun ra sun's rays and set ships on fire, right? That's correct. So what did you, so you set this all up, how far away again were your mirrors from your mock-up of a ship? We were about 100 feet away and we had a similar situation where there were uh, um, roughly two or three mirrors per person and so the there were like a number of people crazy. responsible for aiming the mirrors and then using props to hold them in the right position to get the focal point at a spot on the ship. Now you said that the ship that Archimedes might, or that the Roman ships might have been made of something different from your oak. Do you think that the fact your ship was oak might have made it harder or easier? Well, all things being equal, the, the oak would be probably harder to ignite uh, compared to cedar. But then on the other hand, a real boat would have been in the water, uh, potentially would have had higher moisture content and would not be uh, quite as still as a facsimile of a ship sitting on the ground. And I guess you were at a slight disadvantage because it's autumn now and the sun isn't as hot or as high in the sky. It would be better to do it probably uh, more in the summer, but on the other hand, there's still a pretty good supply of uh, energy and power to work with at this time of year. Okay, Dr. Wallace, we're all sitting on the edge of our seats. How did it go? Well, it went, it went great. It, we, the first time we tried it, in fact, we weren't able to get it to work. We had some uh, problems with clouds and, and a fairly small amount of cloud cover creates enough, uh, uh, diffuses the light enough to prevent this uh, from working. We tried it on a second day where there was again cloud cover but it was intermittent. We set up in partial cloud and waited about 30 minutes, actually really I guess 20 minutes with a lot of smoke and then finally when we got in the clear about 10 minutes later, a little less, we had open flames. Wow, so you actually proved at least with this version of the story that it could have been done. Well, we certainly showed you can use uh, some mirrors and sunlight to set things on fire and that one can do it in a pretty simple way. There's lots of details historically whether you'd be using uh, silver mirrors or, or bronze mirrors and such, but I would, it's certainly a technically possible thing to do. And I guess in the real situation, one of the problems would have been if ships are bobbing up and down and moving towards you and then away from you, it's very hard to focus on them. It would, it would be harder to focus, although uh, the ships would probably be anchored. And if it's a, it's a co fairly calm day, if you have you know, a 100 or 120 foot long ship, it would likely be reasonably still on the water. Were you surprised, Dr. Wallace, that it actually did work? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's well, been very controversial. It, well, it's very controversial, and, and I think the, the controversy is really from a uh, uh, historical standpoint, and lots of people debating about these issues of, well, there's the variable focal length and things like that. But it, you know, it's pretty clear one can uh, use the sun's energy 
and, and yeah, gather a uh, sufficient but amount of the power right really to, to, to set uh, no, wood no, structures on fire. So it's really just an issue of getting the, the details right and then one could still debate about whether Archimedes really did it himself. Well, you've done your bit though. Thanks, Dr. Wallace. Thank you. Dr. David Wallace is a mechanical engineer at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He joined us from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Well, there may not be any deaths raised in this next story, but it does involve the careful placement of light sensors.